In this series, a teacher named Claire Wilson and her student Eric have an affair. The two made love multiple times. During a drunk night, Claire admits to sleeping with the student to one of her co-workers, Catherine. Catherine has no choice but to report her. The next day, Claire tells her husband Matt that she's been sleeping with her student. Subsequently, authorities visit Eric and his mom to question him about his relationship with Mrs. Wilson. Eric denies ever sleeping with Mrs. Wilson, but the authorities tell him they know he went away with Mrs. Claire on a weekend getaway. Meanwhile, Matt tells Claire's brother Nate, who is shocked to find out the affair was with Claire's student. Afterwards, Eric calls Claire worried because he pretty much revealed everything to the authorities. Eric begs to meet her, but all Claire can do is cry because she ruined her reputation. She hangs up on him. While Claire lays depressed on bed, Matt tells his wife he doesn't want to lose her. He even says they'll get a lawyer to defend her, and they'll seek counseling for their marriage. Then, Eric decides to visit his friends, Logan and Josh. They found out about the affair since it spread like wildfire already. Being the frat jock that he is, Logan tells Eric that he'll be a legend for sleeping with a teacher. Eric hates this comment and says he feels bad for Claire. However, Logan reminds him that Claire is the adult in the situation. Eric walks away because he feels like his friends don't understand the amount of love he has for Claire. Later at night, Eric and Claire meet up. Eric suggests they should run away together because he can't live without her. The two end up getting a motel, but Claire gets a call from her police officer brother, telling her that she needs to bring Eric back home because this can be considered a kidnapping. Instead of listening, Claire decides to do it with Eric in the motel room. Claire reminds Eric that she ruined her entire life for him. In the next morning, Eric finds out that he's got a bunch of calls and texts from his family and friends asking where he went. He had also gotten texts from friends calling him a legend for sleeping with Mrs. Wilson. Eric decides to go home and cries as his mom helps comfort him. After realizing that Eric left her, Claire goes to the police station to turn herself in. Much later, Eric goes to a college party where he's praised for sleeping with his teacher. He's now a freshman in college and his past has followed him. A random frat guy keeps asking for details like where they banged, if she had perky mountains, and if she had a full-blown bush. Eric is visibly annoyed by the disrespect and refuses to answer anything. He finally caves though and talks about a few details. The boys celebrate him. Afterwards, he hooks with a girl who enjoys her time. However, when she brings up his past with Mrs. Wilson, he gets a little annoyed. That doesn't completely stop him from enjoying his time though. The next morning, Cody brings up the teacher again. He thinks it's messed up that Claire was punished harshly because he doesn't think Claire took advantage of Eric. Eric hesitantly agrees. He says Claire is in county jail for taking a plea deal, but Eric blames himself because he convinced Claire to run away with him. Cody says there are bigger problems in the world like how China eats dog meat. Cody then grabs them two more beers. Later at night, Eric decides to Google Claire Wilson and a mugshot of her is shown. He gets deeply depressed about the situation. When Eric visits his mom, Sandy, she wonders if Eric has started counseling. Eric is annoyed, but his mom insists that what Eric had gone through was a lot deeper than he thinks. Sandy warns him that Claire is being released early soon, and that Eric needs someone to talk to about this. However, he decides to leave early because he's upset that his mom is bringing up the past. Eric decides to meet up with his hookup girl, who ends up apologizing for her crass behavior the other day when she brought up his affair with the teacher. She calls Eric a survivor for experiencing what he did with Mrs. Wilson. All Eric wants to do is sleep with her, but she admits that she wants something more. Eric leaves pissed because all he wanted was to bang her. After this, the boys bring him out drinking and driving. Eric decides to stupidly hold onto the roof of the car while they drive extremely fast. He demands them to go faster. They meet a dead end and they have to brake really hard. Eric gets thrown onto the road. He's visibly fine, but emotionally, there seems to be more going on. The next day, Eric is officially accepted into the frat. They celebrate by hiring a stripper to please the new boys. The stripper goes directly to Eric and decides to act like his teacher. This triggers Eric and he walks off. Cody follows after him, and Eric finally says he doesn't want to do any of this and leaves the frat house. When Eric goes to his dorm room, he meets a stranger named Micah, who offers to smoke some weed with him. After they smoke, Eric admits that he misses Claire very much. Sometime later, Claire wears an ankle monitor and waits to be picked up after serving her time in county jail. Her brother Nate, and her dad Wyatt, pick her up. Once they arrive at Nate's house, Wyatt gives his well wishes to his daughter. Claire is upset with Nate for not warning her that her dad would be there, because they don't have the best relationship due to Wyatt's past alcoholism. Nate tells Claire that he can stay there as long as she wants, as long as she gets a job. 
It turns out Matt had divorced Claire. The next day, Nate's wife Lisa, is visibly upset that Claire is already drinking some wine. When the kids come to say hello to Claire, Lisa tells them to leave Claire alone. She doesn't want her kids anywhere near her. When trying to get a job interview, Claire worries about a background check. Suddenly, a woman enters the store telling the clerk not to hire Claire and calls her a sexual predator. Claire leaves and cries in her car. Afterwards, Claire goes to do her probational drug test where she's monitored to make sure she's not cheating. Later that day, she googles herself and feels ashamed. At dinner time, Lisa is upset that Claire barely tried to get a job. Lisa walks off. Claire is upset and defends her actions, saying the affair was consensual and that Eric was the one who pursued her. She doesn't like the double standard because Eric is the one getting praised while she's being shamed. She tries to blame her terrible past with her father, but even Nate is tired of hearing Claire's excuses. The next day, Eric texts Claire asking to meet up. He comes over to the house. Eric apologizes for ruining Claire's life. Claire admits it was all her fault for telling Catherine. Eric admits that he needs Claire because he can't function. Claire finally tells Eric that what they had was just an escape. It wasn't real love. She demands him to leave because it's violating her probation. Afterwards, Claire packs up her things to leave her brother's house. She goes to move in with her father. Much much later, Claire is on a Tinder date and has finally found a job. The two are enjoying their time together, so they move the date to his place. Before they move to their bedroom, Claire admits she wears an ankle monitor. But the guy doesn't care. While they're doing it, the guy admits that he's known about her past since he googled her. He calls her a filthy teacher, and Claire is visibly embarrassed at first, but then asks him to call her a filthy teacher again. Meanwhile, Eric has skipped quite a few of his classes. His roommate Ryan, tries to get him out of bed to go to a bar. Ryan tells Eric that he knows Eric is on academic probation and lost his scholarship. Then, Claire goes to her new job, working for her father. Wyatt suggests she should attend an AA meeting, but she dismisses this. A co-worker tells Claire that Wyatt gave him a second lease on life because he used to be an alcoholic before working there. Afterwards, Claire signs divorce paperwork with Matt. Matt has finally grown a backbone and tells Claire off. Saying she never cared for him and her affair was the biggest colossal mistake anyone could ever make. Meanwhile, Eric is still drinking at the bar. He meets a bridal party who invites him to drink with them. Eric ends up befriending one of them named Chloe. The two dance together, but Chloe gets visibly upset. She admits that she recently got out of a five-year relationship and isn't looking to hook up. She says it took her a while to realize how unhappy she was in that relationship. Subsequently, Claire goes to see her Tinder hookup and asks him to call her a dirty slut. While doing the deed, she asks him to hit her. He does, but she wants it harder. When she starts bleeding, Claire asks him to keep going. But this is too kinky for him. He wonders if Claire is okay, but she walks off. Claire goes home and her father tries to comfort her. Claire doesn't understand how her father can be this good of a person when in the past, he was terrible. She had originally became a teacher to help kids who never got the same love and attention from their parents. The next day, Eric goes to see his mom, finally asking for help. Ten years have passed, and Eric is now a camp counselor. On the other hand, Claire has found a husband and has two daughters with him. She also has a great relationship with her father. One day, Claire and Eric bump into each other at a grocery store. Eric is visibly bothered and walks away upset. When Claire is back at home, she celebrates her dad's 75th birthday with the entire family. Including Nate and Lisa. She finally has a stable life and good relationship with everyone. Meanwhile, Eric anxiously goes to his 10-year high school reunion. He meets up with his friends Logan and Josh. Logan is married and has a baby now. Allison also meets up with them. Allison was Eric's homecoming date that he ditched for Claire. The two happily catch up and eventually go to Allison's hotel room. Eric apologizes for ditching her at homecoming. Then the two proceed to do it. Back to Claire, she's having trouble sleeping after having seen Eric at the grocery store that same day. She decides to send him a text to meet up. Subsequently, Eric leaves Allison's hotel room. When he gets Claire's text, he's visibly upset and anxious. The two meet for lunch the next day. They catch up. And Claire says she wanted to apologize for the longest time, but she realized giving Eric space helped to move on with his life. However, Eric says he never moved on because their relationship destroyed him. Claire admits that she violated her role as an educator. She should have turned down Eric when he came on to her. Eric is upset because this is not his perception of the events. He reminds her that it was Claire who agreed to tutor him, brought him to a college campus, told him to call her Claire, 
told him to get in the back seat of the car, and blurred the lines between the teacher-student relationship. Claire rebuts and says Eric could have said no to all those things. Eric reminds her again that it was Claire who created that environment. All these years he felt responsible for Claire's punishment, and has lost years in his own life mentally. He reminds Claire that he was just a child when their relationship happened. Claire admits that now that she's a mother, she doesn't understand why she did those things. She just hopes Eric is doing better. Eric realizes he was just brought to lunch to help alleviate Claire's guilt. Then, Claire begins to make it about her, saying that she's just one Google search away from ruin. Eric is pissed and reminds Claire that he has to live with this for the rest of his life. He walks away and the series ends. What did you guys think of the series? I think it did a really good job discussing the double standard of the situation. How Eric received so many compliments for conquering his teacher. If it was a male teacher and a female student, viewers would be disgusted of the male teacher and shame the female student. This series really brought to attention that female teachers are capable of grooming. If you or someone you know needs support, help is available at www.a-teacher-resources.com for more information. Until next time. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like, it really helps the channel.